Ladies and gentlemen, greetings and salutations to you all. Clover welcomes you to Greed Black Border. What the heck is this game, you may ask, everybody? Well, it's an action RPG, so for the mainstay of the viewers on this channel, you should be pretty pleased to see that. Uh, it came out in 2010, and it is a game that has constantly interested and perplexed me, that is for sure. Uh, it is a game that seems to have polarized those who play it. Some say it's cool, some say it's not so cool, some say it's poop, some say it's great. Um, and I don't know who to believe, and so I wanted to try it out for myself, essentially. And so I figured, why not bring you guys along for the ride? It looks like fun in any case. The reason I've been interested in it, and the reason I stumbled across it, it's because it's supposedly like futuristic, sci-fi-ish kind of vibe in an action, uh, uh, sorry, an isometric action RPG setting. Which is something I've always wanted, but never could really find, save for this. So we're going to give it a go and see what we think. And have a little bit of a more chill, laid back, let's play with that weekend, hang out together, and have a good time. <laughs> so without further ado, we'll launch a new character. The menu's a little bit laggy here. Okay, and we'll probably play, <coughs> play Marine. I mean, there's a few options here. Pyro and the long-range combat. Plasma. Sniper, I suppose, is another way to look at it. Backstory, a former commandant, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, let's go. We'll call them, as is tradition for my first characters, Bob. Here we go. A speaker of the High House of Camulos has confirmed that in the legal vacuum of empty space between the colonies, a further 14 ships belonging to pirates, gamblers, and ex-mercenaries have been destroyed. Thus, the new policy of the uncompromising tough... The five Earth colonies, Condatus, Terrena, Sercura, Nito, and Camulos, dissolved their alliance 15 years ago. Together with political intrigues, it was above all the dispute over Icarium which caused the breaking off of diplomatic... Icarium enabled a quantum leap in space travel. The gold-colored hybrid metal used in drive systems has reached its highest price since its discovery four years ago. The few source locations are kept a strict secret by their rich owners. Whoever has enough can use their superiority over other colonies. Approach to damaged mining ship completed. Docking maneuver is being initiated. Distress signal analyzed and authenticated. So there we go, deck five, everybody. Well, we're looking for deck five, I think. Where do I find the bridge? Where do I find the bridge? Here we go, new mission objective. So we just docked aboard this damaged vessel. Your computer contains a chronological listing of all the mission objectives as well as all of the text you'll read in the game. Oh, this is a tutorial. Go away. <laughs> I thought it was interesting information. Tutorial moving. Come on, we know how to play this game. You explode the yellow barrels and then you win. So there we go, guys. Look, here we go. It's very pretty. Oh, it's not very pretty, but for its time, it's not bad looking, I reckon. I've had to turn some of the graphics down to make it not as laggy. Hopefully, it's of a presentable frame rate. Sorry if it's not. All right, here we go. Tutorial dodging. Oh, that's right. You've got some um, dodge capabilities, as you can see. It's got a cooldown there on the... Uh, this bar over here has a cooldown. This curvy one. Yukon's onboard computer. Security check completed. You will receive a visitor's pass valid for the duration of your stay. You guys can probably hear her talking anyway. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Computer. There's us. Why can I not move? Holy moly, ladies and gents. You may have noticed that I moved. Uh, I had to rerun that little bit again. Because for some reason the game got stuck. It seems so far it doesn't much like being recorded. Bob. So the guy who gives security passes is dead. Can we search his body or his computer? I played the first little bit of this game. Like the first half hour or so. Just to get a feel for how it goes. And you know whether it would be a good game to play for you guys. 
I think it is. But then this is my first time recording it, so I'm not really sure how it's going to all go down. But I think for its time, it's quite a pretty game. It does appeal to me. Right oh, come on, heal me up. I think these are like healing vending machines, basically. This is some cool hologram. We can't go this way. So we've got to get to deck five, I'm pretty sure, is our preliminary mission. Ooh, there's a lot of blood there. I don't want to go in there, bro. So, I guess we just got to go on this way. Press on. Chumps. Oh. Uh-oh. So, we just triggered the security alarms. Classic. Here comes our first taste of combat. Probably. <laughs> you would assume they're not just going to lock the doors. Uh, yep, there we go. Small battle bot. Go remember to use the dodge mechanic. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty handy. That is for show. Sure. Oh, there's another one. Dodge. Yeah. That one's got some sort of freaking buzzsaw on it. Maniacs aboard this ship with their freaking crazy things of robotic nature. <laughs> Alright, we can't get out the doors just yet. Apparently. Can we bust through this? Sure can. Alright, and bust through that. Oh, yeah, I remember this from doing the practice. Test mission thing. No, no, my, my test mission. Not the test mission. There is no test mission, Kluger. What the hell are you talking about? I bust this door open and go, go, go. Aha. Uh -huh. Take that game. We're going to play by your rules. We're probably playing by the game's rules right now. Just saying. Oh, no, I exploded the wrong one for shizzle. Retreat. Get the dodge on. Can I hit the thing? There we go. Did some nice damage to him. The game is performing a little bit laggy. Um, since I'm recording it at the same time, it doesn't seem perfectly nicely optimized, so it's not really dealing with that too well, unfortunately. But, you know, I'm going to press on. It's, I don't think it's going to be the hardest game in the world. We'll see how we go. Yeah, I'm definitely intrigued by the game. That, I must admit... That's why I wanted to bring it to you guys. This is a game I've always wanted to play through, and so I try to use my leisurely gaming time as an excuse to also post relevant video content, and this is an action RPG. Part, part of me has considered revisiting all types of action RPGs, even like Diablo 1, albeit with some mods, but nevertheless, some action RPGs of like a more historical nature, which I'm not, I'm not, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm not necessarily calling this game historical in nature. Um, but, you know, it's got its place, being all sci-fi and stuff. Get dead, fool. Alright, we made it. We made it. There we go. Tutorial. Loading and saving. We found the checkpoint, essentially. Cool. Got any heal places? Oh, this is that Icarium stuff. Give it to me. Bam. We haven't, have we found any new gear yet? Doesn't look like it. Character. Nothing. So we don't, there's not many gear slots, which is a bit of a bummer. Helmet, armor, weapon. Nothing particularly tricky or intriguing about that. There's a little bit of a skill tree. As you can see, and I think, I've looked into these a little bit, and I'm pretty keen on, uh, where's, I'm pretty sure Furo is a skill around here. But regenerate's really good. Get that shield regen pumping. <laughs> Let's see. There's one I was interested in, if I can bloody find the thing. Cover, explosive there, adrenaline, C4 charge. There's one of these up here, Bravado, Penetrator, Furor, here, this one. Increase your damage bonus, the longer soldier constantly causes damage. Bada boom, pretty nifty. What's this down there? Did I already click on it? Character. Oh, it's telling me here because I can put points in here. Health, probably shield's a really important way to go. We'll, we'll get some energy going. Cool. Awesome. There we go. And computer is telling us some stuff. Mission objective. Find an elevator deck 5. We knew that, bro. Alright. So if I right click... No, that's just my passive skill. Alright. Gotcha. Get out of my face. Here we go. Huh. Oh, zombies. Uh-oh. Come on. I just knocked the fools down. Oh god! 
And one of them seems to be a healer of some sort. But I can't get to them because these chumps are in my freaking way. Lure them this way. Bam! Oh, there you go. I got the healer down. Gross, man. My fr the friends among me will know that I hate freaking zombies. And this is no exception. I play freaking Grim Dawn. As if I'm not over zombies. No, that's right. This is fairly impersonal, kind of. Oh, I can, I can zoom in further. You guys can get so much more detail. So sexy. Look at us. <laughs> All right. Cool, 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 cool. That looks very dangerous. There's got to be something of worth in here. Is there not? Um, can I kill those guys from here? Nope. That hurts my shield. Can I switch this off somehow? Ah, oh, the jets swap sides. Okay. So bang. Shaboom. Badoom. Badang. Okay, we made it mostly unscathed. Shield regen should be kicking in. Alright. Careful, because we know those guys are there. Trying to get that chemist down, because he's got that heal buff. Alright, got that one. Run, 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 fool. That's a good... I'm playing a, a fairly a good... A well-zoomed in distance, I feel. I'm, I'm backtracking, by the way, to do that. They're still not dead. Freakazoids, man. No, no, don't pick up the card now. <laughs> this is not the time. Marine. Alright, cool. Can I switch off the tutorials? Is that a thing? Sorry to bring up the menu. I'm so against doing this, but... Is it possible to turn off the tutorial? I don't think so. Oh well, doesn't matter. Carrying on. Now we gotta get back out of here. We got a key card though, which opens a door of some sort, I presume. Can't get that timing right. Alright, we got through with most of our shield, though. That's fine. Cool, 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 cool beans. Let's save. Game saved. But a shall. This says there is a door here, but I can't bloody see it. It's a liar. This door is a Have I got the key card for this door? I do. That's what the key card was for. Brilliant. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, come on. Click and move, would you? But yeah, the game... Maybe it's not... I'm it's starting to come back to me now that the game did just respond a bit laggily once you stopped shooting and that sort of thing. It's not the smoothest feeling game, you know, but it's still kind of fun. Hey, I found a new gun. Oh. So, let's compare. Damage 5. Damage 7. So, we want to use that once we hit level 3. Which we are not, of course. We'll pick up this Icarium. I have no idea what purpose it serves, but it seems to drop a lot. So, I, I tend to just pick it up. You know, as you do. Hey, buddy. How about you shift? And sit still. See, g given the... Slight frustration of the controls we could probably do is making sure our shields are nicely buffed up. In order to... I mean, we don't, doesn't mean we have to dodge, basically. <laughs> is what I'm going for. A dodgeless build. Brilliant. Whoa, hello. Right, that's what you get for opening the door and then walking away. <laughs> By the way, ladies and gents, if you watch my, some of my other content... Um, if you haven't, you, got, you should, but if you have... Tell me if my microphone sounds any better to your eardrums, because to me it sounds way better since I've got some fancy new super thick curtains on my across my window, just to my left, cutting down sound reflections, and it sounds awesome to me. So I'm just saying that, so hopefully it sounds awesome to you too. Also, there was a cat just jumping off my desk right now, so... Classic. How do you bring up the loots? And is there a way to rotate camera? I feel like there is, but I can't remember how. Come on, there's got to be a way to do it. I thought it was like click down middle mouse, but it doesn't seem to be. I did pick up that loot. Damage value 5. Damage value 7. I've got this badge here, armor upgrade 2. Which I think you can put on a thing? No? Doesn't want me to do nothing to nothing. That's just a weapon. Required level 1. Solid, where is it? No? I can't put it nowhere? Okay, okay, never mind. Move it on. Oh, there we go. Alt. Weapon upgrade. There we go. Character. 
Max, um, it, oh, it adds plus 10 to our max energy. Gotcha. I don't remember if I put it in here. Uh, that doesn't support an upgrade. See how it's got the slot? So we're going to upgrade to this one. So we'll put it in there. But you have to be wielding it. Okay. Doesn't want me to do anything. All right, let's stop. Stop playing inventory Tetris, stupid. <laughs> Maybe the Icarium's the uh, currency, come to think of it. Classic Kluger. Get around this way. So we'll bust open these other doors. Nothing in here. And nothing in there. Got this one as well. Alright. There's bound to be something to kill in here. Yep. Hey, hey. Oh my god. Get dead. Get dead. Geez, having that shield regen is pretty nice, I must say. Pew, 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 pew. All right, there we go. I'm, I'm starting to get the timing of the controls right. It's, it feels a bit sticky. Like, sometimes I'll click it and it won't actually stop, or I'll click to fire and it won't actually fire, which is, of course, a nuisance. But we'll, we'll, we'll get the jam down. We'll get it. Come on, fool. Get dead in the face. Oh, more of you. Ah! That time shift click did not work. Yeah, whatever, mate. I'll just tank you. Look at me. <laughs> Stupid ass robots. Um, oh, there they are. I thought I heard more doors. This game's got a cool vibe. It's got that creepy abandoned sci-fi feel to it, which is really nice. Which is what I've always been. Which is what I've always been looking for in a particular type of action RPG. I guess the main problem with this is its lack of depth of systems, as you can see. I mean, like three. Three item slots is not that great. And skills-wise, I mean, that's okay. But, I mean, it's not like Grim Dawn level of, of depth. But, you know, Grim Dawn's a pretty deep game in that respect. So, you can't, it's hard to... It's mean to compare any other game to Grim Dawn in terms of build complexity and depth and options and all that. But would you walk backwards in, a, in an evasive fashion? Man, leveling's slow, I've got to say. <laughs> I want more skill points, bro. Alright, let's dodge. There we go. Yeah, that was actually a terrible dodge. I didn't dodge anything. I want to get Fura. That sounded really cool. Because of the constant damage output increase it's going to give us. So I can just stand still with my shield and be like, Nargh! and just mow stuff down. It's going to be sick. <laughs> Alright, dodge. Get, get yourself some distance. Yeah. Come on, fools. Come on, fools. I'll lose him. Looks like it. Haha. <laughs> Corner hacks. Boo -boo -boo -boo. Nice. Well, God. I was trying to scratch my head, you stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Where you at? Let's fight. Fight me, bro. Nothing. Well, then. Well, here we go. Oh, God. Dodge. Yeah, that was a good dodge. I think, maybe. Let's get the tanks killed. <laughs> well, the robot equivalent of tank anyway, which is these buzzsaw chumps. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, baby. Bam. Also, this curvy thing is our shield, of course. This thing here, which is slowly recharging at the moment. Or well, slightly quickly, slightly more quickly recharging. <laughs> oh, you mean... Oh, more robots. Dodge. Oh, wow, there's heaps of robots. Get your buzzsaws out of my face. Yeah. Man, there's so much Jakarium I'm leaving behind. It's hard to see on the floor, and I keep forgetting to press alt. I'm such a victim. <laughs> Give me this. It's meant to be really valuable stuff, according to the little prequel. I, I did like the intro cinematic, by the way. <laughs> it's pretty nifty. Game saved. Shebang. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So I guess this is our next way to go. Take that, doors. <laughs> oh, God in heaven. Alright, let's see if we can cut out some of the angles there. Alright, he's in range. Awesome, fantastic. There's not as many dudes can hit us from there. And I'm pretty sure stuff doesn't respawn from what I saw from my quick test with my last character before I started recording. Um, when you return from a save game... 
chumps don't uh, respawn. I think. I think. So I should be able to go save again. And not have to do that nonsense. <laughs> Ugh, classic. Alright. More robots? Yep. Lots more robots. That's a crap load of robots. Come on, fools. Urgh. Urgh. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. So this will heal me. I don't need it right now, though, apparently. Classic. That's my favorite saying these days. Classic. Everything's classic. I can't stop saying classic. This looks so cool, man. Alright, we, we got the spot on these guys. Got a flame spider. That's what those gas tanks are for, huh? Huh? Yeah, get kabloated. Oh, he doesn't explode. He should explode and hurt his enemy, hurt his friends. My enemies. Stupid brain. Alright, nothing drop. Oh, there is some acarium. Shank you up. I can only presume this door is not openable. Indeed, it is not. So we'll go this way. Oh, it's another one of these things. Um, Alright, we've got to do a bit of a cheeky switcheroo. Yep. And... No! Get off my shield! Alright, we've got... Get around. Is there another thing to explode? No, there's another door. Ah! <clears throat> okay. Cool, we're in the next part of the hallway. We're really at the other side of the door, it would seem. Oh, look at these hacks all range. Whatever. Map hacks. I knew I was coming. Definitely. Bam. Probably need to let my shield regen after I kill these chumps. Hey, hey, yes. Awesome. So. So, whoops, what am I doing? I keep pressing S for skills. It's probably K for skills, actually, come to think of it. Durr. Fura. <laughs> oh, baby. Increased damage bonus the longer the soldier is constantly causes damage. Nice. Hook me up. I took a victory sip. We should probably end the episode pretty soon. There's a checkpoint, a save checkpoint just up ahead. Up here, this this circular thing I'm Bob. Oh yeah, characters things. I'm gonna focus for now on shield. Probably well, I want to crank up energy for later because there's some cool nuke skills and stuff like nuke projectile. I've been doing some checking out of, which I think we need to get something for at first. Potentch, potentch. Yeah, frag grenade to get through here. Some energy will be used to top up the projective protective shield. That's cool. So we want high energy for that, so we can keep our shield up. Yeah, nuke projectile. Check that baby out. Remains stuck in an enemy and causes damage over time. Enemies nearby also take damage. Red! <laughs> so we want to get that. Alright. What's here? Robots? No robots. Oh, there's robots. Alright, so con let's constantly cause damage. Yeah, come on. Yeah, things definitely seem to be dying a little quicker. That's pretty cool. So is our shield, apparently. <laughs> Shadaisy. Game saved. Boom. There we go, ladies and gents. We'll call it here for today. Hopefully, that was your good first taste of the game. So, as always, guys, I hope you did enjoy. Please do leave your comments down below for the first episode, as it's very important for determining how the rest of the series goes. I'm having a lot of fun so far. I probably will produce this series regardless to a certain extent, so let me know what you think. Otherwise, leave a like down below, and I hope you tune in next time. My name is Kluger, and you have a great day!